Hello grade twos. We are going to finish up and stop all of our unit on measuring in kilograms and grams. And we're going to move to something new today that we actually started back in grade one last year. You might remember as we get going through and we're going to continue learning about it today. So on my board today, I have what? I have some goldfish, exactly. Now, how many groups of goldfish do I have? Right, I have three groups of goldfish. Now, who can tell me how many goldfish I have in each group? One, two, three, four, five. And I have the same in this group. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So I have three groups and each group has five in them, okay? So these are what we call equal groups. Can you say equal groups? That means that there's the same number in each group, okay? Now, how can I find out the total number of fish? How could I find out how many fish I have? Well, I'm gonna draw a number bond here that shows each one, okay? So we have five in this one, five in this one, five in this one, and if we all connect it, okay, let's count by fives. Five, 10, 15. So I have 15 gold fish. So when we have equal groups, we can go five plus five plus five, but there is actually another way that we can also write this. So instead of just doing Instead of doing five plus five plus five, which gives us 15, there is what we call multiplication. Do you remember multiplication? Do you remember what symbol we use when we're multiplying? It's a X. X means multiply. And we use that when the groups have the same number in them, when they're equal groups. That's the only time we can multiply, when each group is the same, okay? So how many groups do we have? One, two, three. So we write three multiply or times by how many are in the group? One, two, three, four, five. So we do three times five, three groups of five. Five, 10, 15. Perfect. Now, what if I take our goldfish and instead of three groups, what happens if I make five groups? Okay. So this time I have five groups. One, two, three, four, five. So I write five down here, times or multiplied by, how many is in each group? One, two, three. There's three in each of the groups. So five times three. So this time I have five groups of three. So three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Did my number of goldfish change? No. So just like with adding, I can write two plus three equals five, or I can write three plus two equals five. I can do the same thing with multiplication. I can do three times five equals 15, or I can do five times three equals 15. Okay, either way, I can with multiplication, just like with addition. They're the only two that we can switch them. It doesn't matter whether I do the three first or the five first, I can, it still is going to give me 15, okay? Now in your textbook, I want you to open up to page 77 in your textbook. So press pause if you don't have your textbook and we're gonna open to page 77. And at the very top of the page, we see our X and that means multiply. And we can only do that when we have equal groups. So that means the same number in each group. We can multiply instead of keep adding, we can multiply, okay? So let's look at this page here. 
In question number one, we have some birds' nests. Who can tell me how many nests that we have? How many nests do we have? One, two, three, four. So let me get started here with writing this. Okay, so we have four nests. Okay, now let's see. Is it equal groups? How many birds are in each nest? One, two, three, four, five. And keep check the next one. They all have five, so they're equal groups. So I can do four times five. I have four groups of five. Now, you can pick which number you like to count by. I like to count by fives instead of fours, a little bit easier. So let's count by fives, and we're going to do it four times because there's four nests. Five, 10, 15, 20. Perfect. So we have 20 birds in our four nests. Okay? Now, let's go down to question number two. Question number two, do you know what I thought it was at first? I thought it was like teacups and saucers, but you know what it is? It's hats. Okay? Now, how many groups of hats do I have? One, two, three, four, five. I have five groups of hats. So I'm going to do five. And are they equal? Is there the same number of hats in each group? I think you can tell by the picture, yes. And how many? So I can multiply because they're equal. How many are in each group? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six hats in each group. Now, I can do that or I can do six times five. They're both the same thing. Now you get to pick when you multiply, which number do you want to count by? Again, I'm always going to choose five because I find it easy to count by fives instead of sixes. So let's count by fives. We're going to do it six times, okay? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. And six times five, if I were to count by sixes, I'll do it kind of quick. Six, 12, 18, 24, and 30. Okay, that they are. So when they're equal groups, we can multiply them and keep adding up. So instead of counting each single one, count up. Do the mental math. You've been doing all the math facts all fall in the classroom. Is to go, you know, six plus six plus six plus six plus six. Or, like I said, because it's five, I can count by fives. And I can do it six times. Okay? So what you're going to do for your work today is you're going to open up your workbook and you're going to do exercise 31 for today. And you will notice 31 has two pages that I'm going to ask you to do, both pages of 31 today. Enjoy.